Hey, this is Saya. Uh, I'm Carol. It's Tiffany. It's Nicole. And this is what keeps us together. Basically the group chat in your head. Living rent free. Boom, boom, boom. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Right at the bottom. Yeah. Yes. And if you are watching us on YouTube, you might have noticed we have some new digs. We <laughs> are recording from the line DC. Um, in DC. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> hopefully you guys like our new setup and our layout. All right. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, I took a long break. So I feel like <laughs> Welcome back. We're a little dusty. All right. So song of the week. This week, we're going to do songs that we loved as a kid that we absolutely shouldn't have. So like, what is one of your favorite songs when you guys are kids that you shouldn't have liked? Who wants to go first? Why is everybody not me. embarrassed? Because Please, not me. We shouldn't have liked them as kids, but I was <laughs> building this song from the rooftop. When I think you should go. Okay. <laughs> um, are we singing or are we playing it? Um, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Okay. Shut up. Can't you see two men talking? <laughs> <laughs> Your contagious touch me, baby. That's a good okay. one. Yeah, that was the song that I. Ron Isley is good for this. <laughs> okay, I'm song. just trying to tell you. Make a song that we do not have to be my mom in the car. I'd be like, Mom, play it again on the way to soccer practice. And I was nine. Like, why? Did you guys split up the parts? Like, were you the girl and she was Ron? Or? Uh, I think we were both Shantae Moore in okay. this scenario. Oh, but, okay. um, you know, depends on the day. You know, I might switch it up a little. I feel you. <laughs> I think me and Adolphus used to, like, bring up those parts. <laughs> Not by being your sibling bonding. <laughs> well, shut up. Can't you see to me? <laughs> Um, it's actually funny though because my song um, is Pony by Genuine <laughs> um, and for a long time I thought it was about a horse oh. um, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie and so I remember having Adolphus who is four years younger than me um, call the radio station to request it because <laughs> oh. I thought if he did it you know he was little and had like the cute voice they would play it <laughs> I'm, I'm dying to know if it worked or not did you get through this? Do they have a child requesting Tony on the radio? Um, I don't think it did. <laughs> but I'm kind of like, wow, this is so inappropriate on a million different levels. Your poor brother out there just singing oh, Pony man. with you. He was. He was. A dolly oh, skirted. Around, like... That's probably also very inappropriate. Like, <laughs> right. right? Anyway, this is yes. fun. <laughs> it's getting <So> dark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. You went after me. No, you go. Oh, All no. Right. All right, mine is non recognizable, I don't think. Because when the, what y'all are talking about, I was thinking, oh, maybe uh, so, uh, other than the one I've already said, which was Ron Isley's Between the Sheets, what other one that I could think of mm-hmm. that what came up was um, Starship by uh, Norman Connor. <laughs> I love that song. Wait, sing it? <laughs> yeah. Or play it. Or- uh, I think I'm going to have to play it. My starship. Yeah. What do you think is going up? But it's, I mean, it's not terrible. Can you play it? I don't think I know this song. Oh, oh okay. No offense to y'all singing it. <laughs> it's still kind right. of a love song. It is. Right. A making love song. Is that too close? He gets to the chorus. What's happening? <laughs> That's my song. <laughs> Oh. oh, there it is. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's fine. I don't know. Really? Why? Yeah, it's surprising. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I know this song. Kevin Lattimore did a cover. Oh, did he? Yeah, it's really good. Oh, I do this. I do know this song. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh. When I realize he's like in the first verse, he says, uh, "Help me release this tension." Oh, not release, but like. <laughs> Get rid of like this tension, and I'm like, no, 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 y'all just don't, you know, leave anything on the table. But you know, also too, when our parents would be like, I cannot believe your songs are so vulgar. And that's um, those songs, but also like, um, was it? I feel a little poke coming through. <laughs> My friends for the longest did not know what that was about. I didn't either. Uh, either. either. I've I've never, never I, thought, I always think about Barry White songs when I think about how inappropriate our parents oh, were, but they yeah. think that we're not. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they think that they're not. Yeah, I was just like, wow, that song is also very. They play that on the radio a lot, a lot. Yeah, like what young are, kids singing. Can about, we also talk about like doing the butt? 
Isn't that wildly inappropriate? Wait. Or is it a dance? No, it's a my dance, sister's I name thought. is in that movie. Oh, it's just the dance. Yeah. And that's yeah. all. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's not do in, like. <laughs> Do in the butt. I was like, no, I think it's doing it. Do in the butt. Like, not do it. Right. No, it's not that. Right. Do it in the butt. Do we talk about that um, Eddie Murphy song? Do it in the butt. I cannot. I don't know. Nothing but those. Well, that's not surprising. Nicole's out. So, I think there's a plethora of songs. My parents are a little bit older, so. No, they're um, not. Well, I feel like the well, same age as my parents. Okay, that. But... <laughs> <laughs> just anyway, just, it just, it just, just uh, anyway, yes, yes uh, but relative to me, it so, wasn't me this time. <laughs> anyway, I've been Nicole all day, y'all. <laughs> my song. I had a lot of them, but one of them probably would be uh, "Tonight Is the Night" by Betty Wright. It's a uh, tonight. It's the night. No. Oh, no. Be- oh that's Spice oh. Girls. No. It's, uh, <laughs> that's how I was saying. Uh, it's, be- this is how it starts. Oh, this is how right. it starts. We will be married. Okay, hold on. Wait, here we go. This is how it starts. Uh, I don't, like the beginning is probably the, the most. Oh, I know this song. Yeah. This song is inappropriate. wildly inappropriate. It's not even like covertly inappropriate at all. <laughs> but it used to be my jam. Like, okay, you gonna start? Is that all right with you? Is that all right with you? Look. I took it home and I what? I played it for my mother. Oh, what are we doing? Yeah, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Is it it? Oh my god. Our people are in Old people be talking forever. <laughs> the song will be seven minutes. Right. One for each song is eight minutes long. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The intro is five. They got to let the instrument play. I said, no, I they shut the song. <laughs> oh, I've never heard the song. <laughs> but why? What? Who are you trying to do? Tonight is on your Nobody. It's just on the radio. <laughs> Woman. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody's getting made a woman at that age. Okay? Exactly. It's over. It's over. It's over. So you're using your living room right. like tonight is No, we would just night. be in the car. And my, mom, my, mother, my <laughs> mother would be like, so she would call the Haynes Point night and then we would just listen to music. I'd be like, oh, I like, you know, because you know, I like R&B. So it's, it was really <laughs> groovy for me. Okay. Not <laughs> anyway. groovy. Yeah. It was groovy, baby. <laughs> All right, anyway. this is great, guys. Right. Thank you for indulging me. That was a good song to go into your part. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. Tonight is the night. <laughs> no, not tonight. <clears throat> anyway. Okay. Yeah. So today's um. Okay, maybe you should go ahead and then I'll do the definition. Oh, you think so? Okay. So the topic of this week is why hoes gotta be bad people. Is where we're going this week, and I'm gonna define ho before we do our cultural reference. Okay. Is that good? Okay. So, according to the Urban Dictionary. Um, <laughs> That's our main dictionary, by the way. Yeah, because not Webster's no. is not where we're going with this. Um, a term used to describe a person, usually a woman, usually a woman, mm, who has sex with strangers, gives into flirtation from strangers, and dresses extremely revealing. A hoe often goes out at night more than daytime or the evening. So she's a vampire, a night walker, <laughs> if you will. A hoe has no friends or at least no real friends and only hangs around with the opposite sex. Wow. They are promiscuous. They are physically attractive, although oh, through either plastic surgery or makeup, like they can't just be, you know, naturally attractive. Right. Um, but are nothing more than good in the st- uh, sheets or the streets, as the kids say. These wow. Um, they are used to getting compliments if you don't have sex with they are used to getting compliments if you don't have sex with them or plan to with them they act like you're non-existent and ignore you oh i feel like i got hurt <laughs> right so sorry it sounds like somebody's feelings hurt. yeah they also yeah. that last um paragraph was a little weird yeah so how do you guys feel about this definition trash well, <laughs> as harry was like garbage <laughs> <laughs> garbage all right yeah it didn't Track. But it just sounded like a lot of people that were hurt or adding, adding or flipping. Because at one point, you're 
all, all night and but you find them for the money. But if you don't give the money, then you got to come. What, what are we talking? What but it's doing? also like they're promiscuous and they only want you for sex. But if you can't have sex with them, then they're still defined as a hoe. Right. <laughs> like what? Yeah. You just sound mad that you didn't have sex with them. Pretty much. Right. <clears throat> Okay, so the cultural reference um, for this topic is, um, I'm sorry, but why are hoes not good people again? Sucking dick makes you a villain? Like, I can't keep up. (laughs) Um, The response to that um, tweet was, I can't remember where I read this, but it has to do with patriarchal reinforcement of men deeming women's worth based on their purity. It also tied into rape culture because men don't like easy. They want to chase sex and have to work to persuade. If it's easy, it equals bad. And the last... um, one I'll say on this thread is because motherfuckers want a superior gawk gawk from a woman with no gawk gawk experience. <laughs> and that's the energy that we're on for this pod. So if you're not ready, then I suggest you turn it off now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, go, listen, out. yeah go listen to one of our PG uh, episodes. Maybe. <laughs> one, of our, one of our two. You might be able to find. <laughs> you made it this far. You might have to hold on. on. That's all I have to say. Not even a full episode is PG. What do you mean? You're right, you're right, you're right. Um... Yeah. So to begin this topic, we we have a couple of people in mind to discuss um, why hoes are deemed bad people. People like uh, Lori Harvey, Nick Cannon, Elon Musk. Uh, I'm sure that in the ways of conversation where people might come up. Yeah. Do you want to start with Lori? Um, sure. I would also like to say that I do not consider Lori a hoe. At all. Oh, I at do all. consider Nick Cannon, no. Future, and Elon Musk all hoes. <laughs> oh, yes. Dedicated That's the future. Sure. No. Yes. Little dirt too. Sorry, Carol. Mm, little turkey. Mm. My turkey. Little dirt. My little turkey poo. Little hoey. <laughs> <laughs> you are hoe. We did not put a little dirt too. on this my on the list. <laughs> Leave him out of it. So, <clears throat> I actually had a conversation about Lori Harvey, and it was presented to me like, man, she shouldn't have did that to Michael B. Jordan, and I'm like. Do what? Me do the same thing that he's been doing since the beginning of the time. But like, also do what? Yeah, do what? Like she couldn't like, break I, up with him? I'm assuming breaking up, but you're the not allowed to do that. Right. <laughs> so that that's where it came up. It was like, man, I, I bet she got another nigga. I bet she do. And I'm just like, <laughs> what what? Like, it doesn't matter because don't dudes do that all Long the time. time. Like they find somebody else and then they move on. But also, can, is she just not allowed to like not want to be in a relationship anymore, right. regardless of if it has to do with someone else or yeah, not? I like, can't just not be happy and leave. Yeah, I'm apparently stay. not. When you it looks are good deemed a hoe, like you're supposed to not be. A, I don't know. It just, it bothered me because why is she a hoe for doing the same thing that a man would do? But also, who even says she's doing that? I feel like there's Correct. a lot that is like um, put on to the reason that Lori Harvey. Right. First of all, the assumption that she broke up with Michael B. Jordan. Second of all, the assumption that she broke up with him so she could be in these streets. Like, we don't know anything. Yeah, we also, don't. she's probably, like, one of the least problematic like, celebrities. Like, her voice maybe because, yeah, three times Yeah, she doesn't talk. <laughs> Not that she doesn't talk. Like, she doesn't, like, she yeah. hardly ever defends herself if something comes out. Like, she just kind of lets it happen. Why, why do you have to defend yourself when you do nothing wrong? Right. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what, when people are making a lot of assumptions about this person, this woman. Right. Who doesn't do anything? Like right. she doesn't say or do anything controversial besides living her life. Meanwhile, right. niggas like Future, who had ninety two kids, want to put her in a rap lyric because he got, heard that she left. Right? They got yeah. ninety nine problems. He got ninety nine kids, and, uh, no, and, and not one him. woman. Damn. <laughs> well, he does several apparently. Uh, well, not one to call his own. <laughs> Current. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. what are they? Like? Imagine She's dating Future and he's still talking about his ex and his music. <laughs> oh, yikes! Well, okay, so Diddy, Carisha. But okay, but then that falls into the who hurt you because that's to me that's where the term hoe right. comes from is it's because somebody hurt you so now you have to call me something it I mean as you I've heard you say this before it's like low hanging fruit so because you have nothing else to say now you li- done label somebody a hoe because you don't agree or you don't like what they've done All right. All right. That, that sounds that's from not a lot justifiable of it. I think on the topic of Diddy and Carisha though that is I mean I feel like that. It's not is beyond being a hoe. Like I don't, I don't even know what to qualify Diddy as. Oh, oh, I was like, where are we going with it? <laughs> no, yeah, he's up there. You Wait, mean... so you think he's worse than Future? No, no, that's uh, not what I mean. Okay, so what do but you I mean, mean in terms of like, <clears throat> well, I feel like he's different. I feel like he's not like just having kids with everybody, but I do feel like he is like very. Diddy is like the quintessential fear of like you just wasting your time on a nigga, right? And then yeah. you feeling like. The time that you put in justifies you staying 
to get to that. And then you have your time wasted and then you leave and you'll finally be happily, I don't know if she's married, but has a kid. And then at his tribute, he'll announce you and say, thank you. Finally. So Diddy is like, so you have like levels to this hodum and where is Diddy fall on a level of future and (laughs) Russell Wilson, (laughs) Russell Wilson being not a hoe. Um, then we have, that's what I'm wondering. Um, okay. I think it goes. Rest, okay. <laughs> Where? 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 Start from the Where? not a hoe. Right. Russell. Russell. Okay, not a hoe. Um, then who, who oh. is? Ho um, ish? Ho like? Ho adjacent? Ho tendencies. Okay, okay. Oh. okay. Um, oh, and can... then who else did I say? Future. Oh. Future. That's extreme. Right. <laughs> That's extreme. Where's another one? Future's a 12. Future and Nick Cannon are like king ho. <laughs> but, <laughs> Elon Musk. I don't. <laughs> oh. I feel like it's a little bit different with Nick Cannon because he's on the up and up about it. Right. What do you mean? Oh, he's, like he's honest. Open. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Like, um, I would put him so maybe in the middle. Future. Oh, so, oh, so wait. So, Russell, Nick Cannon? Yeah. yeah. Future. Yeah. Elon Musk. But let me also, for me personally. <laughs> I, wanna, I just want to make sure we have a white man in this conversation. Yes. I respect that. Mm-hmm. Fair. Um, Equal opportunity <laughs> host. <laughs> <laughs> but if we have to, can, if we also, go sorry, back. I called you a I'm, I'm not because what? Why does being a hoe make you a bad person? Oh, that's right. We were talking oh, yeah. about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not keeping that same energy for men. I'm only keeping it for women. Men, can, men are bad hoes. But women see, are good ones. We, I feel like sometimes if we're fair, then it will encourage other people to be fair. And I'm me personally. Aww. I'm going to be fair. No, they don't have to be fair Aww. first. You go first. <laughs> Not you jump off the bridge first. Let me see how it go. Um, I don't want women to be. I know you're already at the halfway mark. Yeah, I only want women not to be called hoes. I don't really care if men are. <laughs> well, they're not. That's part of the problem. Well, we are. I mean, um, I thought niggas hoes all the time. True. Mm-hmm. Me too. Yeah. Um, I think the difference is I would put Diddy in between Nick Cannon and Future. Oh, I forgot about Diddy. I know, I, I know but then I forgot to place, okay. place him. Okay. I put him in between Nick Cannon and Future, mainly because he's not leaving people with a whole bunch of kids but i don't know that he's being honest about what he wants either mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. okay, okay. There. seemingly not there okay I guess I can... so is but does honesty yeah because then you have a choice yeah i agree but if you want to no well, i'm not even talking about that i'm oh. talking with with regards to talking about hoes so i'm telling people. you i am a hoe <laughs> and then i'm going to be around doing all things uh, I'm doing whole activities with the others. Whole um, activities. And you're okay with that? Aren't you saying hoe even though you? What? what? Uh, okay, so from the context of like why hoes got to be bad people, I feel like it is bad because if you're removing someone's choice from like what you want to be doing, honestly, has plays a major role in that. Yeah. Uh, right. Like if you if we both okay. up and that you, we just trying to smash and move like. Okay, I hear you. Then. I don't, that's not whole activity. You know what I mean? Whole activity to me is being like, oh, I want you, but I want him, but I don't want to say that. And that's the nuance I had not included in. I like mm-hmm. that. Okay. That's how I think about it. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's fair. It is. But also it's like why it makes people calling Lori a hoe even crazier. Right. Just, she's been, at least from what we know, she's been ex- mutually exclusive. It's seemingly exclusive yeah. to these men that she's dating. Right. She's just dating very high profile men. Right. So... The fact that she's in monogamous relationships doesn't make her a hoe. Right. And, I mean, we don't even know if she has sex. Mm. You're right. She definitely has sex. But, <laughs> we don't know. We're assuming. <laughs> we're making the assumption based on the niggas that she's with. Right. That she's having sex. We're just thanking God that she didn't get pregnant. Amen. Okay, so then I have a throwback hoe then. Oh. Scott Disick. Or whatever his last uh, name is. Whole, I thought you were uh, definitely going to say Superhead. Super <laughs> definitely not true. No, no, so we're sitting in the same seconds. frame of, of men not normally being called a hoe. I would like to think that he's a hoe. Can yes, you, he has, yeah, I don't really know the details yeah, on that. Yeah. 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 He wouldn't is marry Courtney's ex-husband. Yeah. Boyfriend. No boyfriend. They never got married. Yeah. Ex-boyfriend. And while he allegedly only has kids with Courtney, we he was on a show being a hoe. Like you out at the at the club with women, going oh, to right. parties and this that. That's pretty much why they didn't get married and they eventually broke up. Was yeah, he having sex with those people? I don't know. I thought he was a drug addict. That's why he didn't. I, Oh, if it quacks know. like a duck, um, <laughs> well, quack. Um, was he having sex with those women? Was he like cheating? I mean, it was yes. Oh, it was, okay, okay. I believe they discussed on the show that he was cheating on her, which is why Courtney, no, Chloe and Kim were like, "Why are you still with him?" But yeah, okay, Tristan. Chloe, Thomas. I was like, <laughs> what? 
<sighs> I mean, Toxins. granted, there's some things that didn't work. Right. That's it. You know? Whatever. I mean, sometimes Life people changes do, things. It does. It sometimes does. people got to go through things on their own. That's facts. You know? Facts on facts on facts. Be. Um, yeah, I mean, that's definitely hope behavior. But I also feel like he's a bad person. <laughs> Oh, but uh, also the family like loved him which was like the interesting because that he was me making that. money on the low you know when there's money in, when there's money flow oh. there's love they, they were like care. I felt like him and Courtney were like going through it and then like Chloe was still like this is my brother blah 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 and I, I mean like, she did until it was weird she just married Travis yeah last season this, she was they were still hang, they're still hanging out with him like he's still a part of their family yeah oh, I mean like he's been money. there for so long that like I kind of get it but it's also it depends on like how that can be a whole episode in and of itself, but like yeah. talking about like the family ties of like when you break up and like what the lines are. Cause I don't, mm. I mean, and they're business partners anyway, cause he signed a contract with them when right. he started the business. So it was one of these things too of like, mm. but I don't think he's, he's a part of, I mean, he's on the show as like a uh, extra, extra, yeah, not as a <laughs> Kardashian. Oh, like he's, same, same. he's a part of the brand, is my point. Yeah. Right. And so, Oh, but you easily be. It, so was Lamar. You can be replaced. Yeah, Lamar was a part of the brand. Kanye was part of the brand. Like all, all these niggas can be. Yeah. Niggas can be You're replaced. Still, the, mom, the mama's mm-hmm. boyfriend is a part of the brand. Does he still follow her around like a back person? I'm saying this, and he's literally the only guy I know. I don't even know. Like I forgot about Lamar. Literally. Uh, uh, like, I thought like every husband that. was a part of the brand until they were. But I don't. Yep. I don't also watch the show. I'm just. I just know that. I mean, I don't most anymore. of the clips I've seen have been. With Scott and them and I, so, so I assumed he was a large part of the show. Yeah, I think uh, it's, making it's, that's it's probably mainly because of the kids. Okay. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I don't even know why we're still talking about Sorry. <laughs> Neither. Sorry. <laughs> we digress. Um, yeah, so we, we didn't really touch, I really want to touch on Elon Musk, you know, equal opportunity hold him here. Um, so if you haven't heard, he recently fathered twins with an executive yeah. um, at his company. Yeah, one of his one of his companies. So it's yeah. not like his Yuck. main one. I think it's his venture capitalist or something mm-hmm. section, whatever, or some part of IT. But uh, yeah, she was working with with him. She for must years, really. She must charge uh, his batteries. Yeah, get it. When you, I feel <laughs> like uh, so breaking HR violations is definitely ho territory. Right, right. <laughs> is it? It's not. What do you mean? I mean. The no. dynamic of that relationship is especially like very dynamic. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. Very yeah. very, not even. I mean, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't matter what so position I, she's in. He's above her because it's his company. But okay, but <laughs> but what if it was all consensual? Right. I just you, so you're trying to say that two people are you trying to say wait wait are you trying to say that two people cannot meet at work and fall in love? No, that's obviously not what I'm saying. But thank you. Because I thought about this before I said it because I was like, am I a walking HR violation? No. Because we're peers. <laughs> peers. It's not more about me. I just feel like in this scenario, like leave and then we can have consensual sex. Okay. Not like while you're working for me. Yeah, I don't But what if he's not there every day? It doesn't matter. Because, well, why is okay. it, because the flip not, side of it is if, if, if I decide that I don't want to have sex with you anymore, do I have the power to say no and keep my job? Right. Um, yeah, yeah, it's called a lawsuit. Now right. I own it. It's now Carol Franklin <laughs> venture capitalist firm. <laughs> <Right. laughs> that part. If, that, if that's what you want to go through. But if you don't yeah, want to come I do, out I do. with that. I also my two kids. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, listen. It's I, called child I support. I spoke my piece. <laughs> child support. <laughs> alimony. <laughs> but we're not married. So I don't know if I can get alimony. But you can also run me some... Um, like stocks. A, well, do you want I, stocks and I was gonna say hush money, but that too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say hush money, but I will say loud money. <laughs> I'm sick. So wait, who's the hoe? Him or her? Him. Mm-hmm. So she's sure. she's innocent. His those twins. <laughs> if it's you, if it's you trying to do the loud money, no. <laughs> <laughs> the genuine, yes. Wait, so that would make me a hoe? I thought. I, I, didn't say you had to be, I didn't say you had to be a bad person. Oh, mm. okay. Fair That's fair. <laughs> All right. So then what, was you, what were you saying? Sorry. No, Sorry. I was wondering the power dyma- dynamic is, is, is key. And I think a lot of these, when like I think about also older men who are dating younger women, like we talked about mm-hmm. Diddy, I think Elon is too. Definitely not black. Uh, uh, they're the same age? No, they're, they're not. They probably are. Now, not that far apart as his, his girl, last girlfriend. 
and uh, him are. This guy's girlfriend looks like a child. I also uh, thought that they were married, so I didn't realize same. that it was like I thought that was Grimes, like a long-standing relationship. No, they weren't together apparently that long. Oh. Grimes, there was you just another sex with that man. Let him name your child a whole bunch of vowels. That's crazy. Uh, Consonants. So how do we just yell into the mic until <laughs> to call your name? Like what is that? Yeah, <laughs> I literally don't know how to pronounce it. Right? Do I pronounce the dots? Are there dots? In there? I don't. Know. <laughs> I feel like there's some Greek dots? letters. <laughs> Someone was like, Elon Musk must know about aliens. <laughs> what are he naming his children? <laughs> that tracks. I can see it. What were we talking about? Oh, I was just trying to say that the, there's another power, power dynamic within the older and the younger. Uh, there being older men dating mm. these younger women as well, because nine times out of ten, they're a little more wealthy than the person they're also talking to, which puts in a different you know, dynamic in itself or more a little more established or just whatever that case may be and that to me is a power dynamic that people don't consider when they're talking about what people are doing and it being like grimy hoe mm. right? behavior because yeah. that's that's a good point see <laughs> someone else said this about um they were talking about Lori harvey and someone else that just broke up with their significant other i can't think of who and they're like it's like wild to me that all all these people are like calling these young girls oh, when they don't yeah, yeah. it was oh, Tyrese. Yeah. and calling these young girls hoes when they don't want to be locked down by these guys who are significantly older than them yeah. and clearly intended on grooming them yeah. which yeah. is like because Lori's is cr- yeah because Lori's about like 25 oh. 26 like she's in like yeah. her mid to late 20s i think they her said same, yeah same thing <laughs> with um tyrese's fiance right not fiance because she didn't want to get married <laughs> so he didn't even <clears throat> Uh, okay. Oh, see, I thought for some reason I thought they were engaged for a long time. Oh, Ooh. didn't he just go through a divorce? Oh, not Tyrese. that long ago. He can't be Tyrese. engaged for so oh. long. I think it's been a couple of years. No, uh, it might be a couple of years. But I'm pretty sure that he has a whole nother situation. Like he got married and I think they got divorced. I cannot keep up with that man since the why are you doing this to me? <laughs> he, he's telling me to so yeah. That's it's not funny. Funny. It is not funny, That's but it is so one. funny. <laughs> um, Social media. Okay, so I'm going to go back really quickly to the power dynamic. For me, that is not, to me, that doesn't make you a hoe necessarily, the, the power dynamic. It's more so just if you're using your power to take advantage of someone. And that's, to me, that's a whole nother. See, that's what I was going to say. It's advantageous. I think it's, I think it's precarious. I think I think less so just the age difference is precarious in certain situations mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. When everyone was saying that Lori and he did and Diddy were dating, I was like, no way. No right. way, no way, no oh, way. Well, like, please? I was like, I really please. thought that it was just like hype. But well, that's because she was like 20? Well, she yeah. she's like literally the same age as one of his as Justin. Yeah, so I think. it's very scary. But I also think that like Diddy dating like people continuously in the um industry that want that are trying to make their careers, you know, Cassie, J Lo, yeah. oh. like it's mm-hmm. it's kind of it's like a red flag. Yeah, it is. So, um, <laughs> the, yeah. Can, uh, can I sidebar just for one uh-huh. second? Yeah, go ahead. For those who of you are listening and watching, precarious means <laughs> not securely held or in position, dangerously likely to fall or collapse. Okay. Word of the day. <laughs> Me, down, so. me too. I mean, I've heard you use it oh. before, but um, I just go with the conversation. It's been nice having a break without y'all. Like <laughs> just saying. <laughs> just saying. For, for our listeners who, we listeners and watchers that we so like I've finally been around um, smart people. I know I'm after. <laughs> not what I said. <laughs> I gotta dumb it down again. Right. Here we go. Um, okay. So can I, mm-hmm. let me just throw this in here real quick because it just popped up while we're talking about Diddy. Lori Harvey, correct me if I'm wrong. Did Lori Harvey date his son and then date him? I think that was a rumor. Mm-hmm. She was dating Justin, right? I don't know those kids. Justin or Quincy <laughs> is one of them. Yeah, okay. or not Quincy, I think, the other one. Um, so <laughs> is that whole behavior? <laughs> is that the question? <laughs> well, I'm going to say no because it's not confirmed. Okay, but that's it, all okay, but rumors. if it's true, if it's true, like you, you came from go the son to the daddy, right. you can be a good person and be a hoe. Um. <laughs> you know what I just flashed back to um, that scene in Sex and the City where uh, Miranda saw her son's girlfriend coming out in like just like a, a big shirt or something. It's like that's how Lori got chosen the hallway. Um. <laughs> oh no! But did you oh, also? No. I remember that that rumor was out, and it was also something about her mom like 
her because there there's rumors about how her mom and Steve and like she's the same way. She allegedly only dated well to do men. Yeah. Mm. Um. And like her. Ooh, let's talk about that next. Is it a crime? No. No. I mean, if you got standards, you got standards. References. But yeah, they're basically they're basically being like Lori learned from her mom. And that's what, like, why people are... I mean, Lori is also well off. Like, who who is she supposed to be dating? Like, her peer-to-peer level is not... Right. It's just not... Just dating whoever. So, okay, I agree. Are you talking about well off by association? Or because of her dad? Well, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's like... Yeah. Like, her best friend. her are daddy, like, he a hoe. Steve Harvey, I love him. But he a hoe. <laughs> not Patrick agreeing. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, if we're, if we're calling people out, then, I mean, you, again, you can still be a good person to be a hoe. Why? That's saying it's a hoe. Can you be a hoe? Wait, why is Steve Harvey a good something? hoe if it's like you've been, how many times I've been married? But what's a good hoe? Are you talking about yeah, like a good a person or being good at being a hoe? Oh, yeah, so that's, that's why, why he's like, been divorced. But does that mean he's a good person that also happens to be a hoe? Well, maybe, that person and I, a feel hoe. Like, <laughs> I feel Those like you awesome. can <laughs> change to be a good, I feel like as you grow up and you get older, you can, you grow as an individual and you could end up being a good person okay. okay he may not have always been a good person that's real but yeah, i feel like self-help so, looks like he was let me tell you to not do what i did right so i mean i mean if you learn from your mistakes yeah you know, i mean if you're talking from people? experience so you're saying he has no right to write these books oh i'm asking oh i yeah. mean uh it's not the first person i choose to get a self-help book from on marriage i mean uh, yeah okay. I mean, but I mean, I also feel like there's something to be learned from failure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's I don't like, disagree with that. Yeah. But you still aren't like, all right. So I mean, you learn from failure, but I, you aren't telling me the path to not have failure. You're just, <laughs> just <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> like, I mean. Your view is only like, okay, just don't do this. I'm like, yeah, but that doesn't tell me what to <laughs> do. do. <laughs> Maybe it's just calling out the red flags. Maybe it's just calling out the red flags because not everybody is the same either. Yeah, but if I mean, you're the red flag, then. Uh, <laughs> are you aware? Did you know when you were fl- waving in the air? Like you know what you said. That I pictured a Halloween costume that somebody was wearing. It was Kurt. It was Kurt. <laughs> the outfit with just red flags on it. <laughs> He's the red flag. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay, sorry. No, a lot of that, questions. It was. There, I mean, mm. I mean, you can't really categorize people when you. I feel like you. You can. I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't call somebody a good or a bad person and immediately. Correlated to if they're a hoe or not. You can if they cheating and they lying. Yeah, but see, <laughs> being a hoe is is not necessarily defined by cheating or something like that. Well, I mean, that wasn't even face. in it. Well, right. I mean, well, I guess you're saying che- cheating is being promiscuous, yeah, which yeah. is what they're saying here. But also, our definition it's all it subjective, that, right? Yeah. So it's all of like, but it also like qualifies people as hoes that aren't having sex with you. Which right. is, <laughs> well, then <laughs> also like your, your right. level of like, prom- like what you consider to be com- promiscuous or be a hoe might not be mine. So you almost, know what I mean? Like, yeah, I almost use that as the cultural reference. What? Look, um, this lady who said, Oh like, yeah, that was a good one actually. She, yeah, yeah. She was like, okay, if I, ha- if I've been sexually active for 10 years, not in a relationship and I've yeah. had three partners a year. That's 30 bodies. That's why body count doesn't mean anything. Someone's like, you've had 30 bodies? And she's like, you missed my point. She's like, you missed <laughs> the entirety of the point. Right. You're the problem, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So if you change a statistic and maybe group a whole bunch of them in one year and then you wait a few years and not... <laughs> You just had a whole year. You're not you're not a hoe. You had a whole phase. You had a whole But maybe your body count is still 30, but it's the numbers are maybe it's the average. Maybe it's like 20. Maybe it's the average of nine and one. So that one year is one year. You know what someone told me a long time ago? You're only as long as you're Body count is lower than your age. You're not a hoe. <laughs> so like every year you get one more. <laughs> so like you can, so like if you one year is like a slow up. year, you yeah, up. you can double <laughs> a slow year. The clock ever restart? <laughs> yeah, when you forget. <laughs> I don't know what number I'm at. So you know, I'm at zero. Name I, I, name two. I don't remember. Awesome. Don't count. Yeah. <laughs> That's a red flag. Statue of limitations on this. I kind of want to know like what, like. Do y'all have like what is your like baseline for hoe? Like the number? N- well, what is what, what is for you? If it's a number or oh. if it's like if you have like what do you when you're thinking of a hoe, <clears throat> aka few, the people who we've mentioned that we've 
I feel like we got off topic here because we're talking about like why hosts can be bad people. We just ran but down. Like, oh, so, so we might need to change the why they host and why they bad. We need to change the title. <laughs> but it's not that they're bad people. I still don't think that they're bad people. I think that they have good traits about them. I just, I still just want to hear what you consider them. someone a hoe. <laughs> Okay, so for me, future, first of all, like, is like a, they a hoe, but they got a good heart. <laughs> future is a hoe with a good heart. Go. I want to hear this. No. Uh, uh. Okay. Is that the hill you want to die on? No. <laughs> no. That's the reason I asked. No. So for me, I don't know. It's it's difficult because. I don't necessarily equate a number to being a hoe. I was gonna say it doesn't have to be a number. What traits do you associate w- with hoes? Just being careless and unsafe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sexually. Yes. For me, would be defined as a hoe. Like if you're just out here in the streets and you're being careless and unsafe, then that borderlines danger. And then that makes that would qualifies being a hoe for me like and i think also when amber rose came out with um the slut walk. slut walk like it definitely made me think about it a lot like you know why why do people do that or you know the slut shaming and things like that like why why is it i think we talked about this briefly earlier like the walk of shame like what makes it shameful versus you know versus mm. Just go on and get yours and mind your business. You know what I'm saying? Outside of maybe you got the same shit on you did from the night before. Maybe that's shameful. So maybe it's not a walk of shame because you was having sex. Maybe it's a walk of shame because like, damn, these clothes got yesterday's club on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> at 7 a.m. <laughs> yeah, at 7 a.m. or whatever the time is. Yeah. I guess my follow up question to that is based or people who have those traits to you, bad people. I don't know. Is it like case by case? I would. Or subjective. Case. I feel like it's subjective depending on the individual because just because you're being, I mean, granted, being you careless and you being reckless out here in the streets, that's whole behavior. But I feel like you could still be a good person. You yeah. So could. can you be just to not who you're fucking? Hmm. What? It doesn't <laughs> just not to who you're fucking. Yeah, hmm. but I mean, it if it's consent, like it's consensual, like. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm misunderstanding. Like, like, whoever the careless and recklessness. <laughs> yeah, like you're a good but people, it, but to, not to that person. Like if you're being careless and reckless, you, you know what I'm saying? So you have to, can you be good? Can you, there's not an overall, like, right? Can you be bad in one area, but still overall good in other areas? I guess is the question. Like what's Potentially. the turning point? Potentially. Like you got to be a scammer. <laughs> you're committing various crimes. No. Stop it. You're being a hoe. <laughs> you robbed a bank Stop last week. It. And so now you're bad. No. Okay. No. <laughs> no. No. You no, were no, real no, no. today, and I don't know where this energy is coming from. I don't know. She's like, <laughs> she's like, because it's me. <laughs> that's exactly where that's coming from. Oh, I was like, I was like, like there's box like player in a to be on this podcast today. That's what just, I was thinking was going to happen. Just don't lie. Just don't she's lie. Just don't lie. She's still a nice person. I am a good person. Not you. Everybody has a whole phase in life. Okay. There's no shame in it. There's no, no shame. still a good no. person. I am a good person. <laughs> <laughs> this took such a turn. Um, <laughs> Not Nicole feeling triggered. <laughs> <laughs> trying to give grace to herself. <laughs> right. Um, and this is why we made this podcast. <laughs> right. Who wants to go next? It's, it's fine to just live your best whole life, okay? <laughs> this is Nicole's affirmation. Right. <laughs> right. I appreciate it. It's right now. It just it came up real fast. <laughs> um, who's going next? Um, whoever's ready, I you can, can build if you need to. Like everybody I, have to do. Oh, oh yeah, no, I was gonna say. I think no, I'm interested to know okay. this part. The do no harm is most important, but to add on, right. I think for me the main thing when I think of when I think of a hoe is someone who has not shared that they are sleeping with multiple people mm-hmm. with the other people, and right. it has to be in my mind. I was like, oh, is it just like? him and them and one other person or is it multiple people and i still like especially by the time we hit three i'm like okay like sir like yes or ma'am you were fully in the whole phase of things um two can sometimes i know relationships ebb and flow so sometimes whatever i'm not saying that they're not whole but 
but but you're teetering on some whole tendencies, and I'm gonna need you to like, I'm gonna need you to wrap it up and get on, get on. And I also don't know if that's, uh, it's not been my personal experience. I'm speaking from that, but I just uh-huh. think that that <laughs> I think that, uh, and then uh, as you were talking, it was making me think like, is this because I'm kind of like. I'm very relationship forward, so mm-hmm. I don't know if that's the way I, well, yeah. I think that that's my focus. But that Are you like serial, mon- serial monogamous? Yes, okay. but serial as in I do a lot for it. <laughs> like one person, then another one, but it may not be long still. You know, some people do. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, you know, yeah. Some people, you enjoy being in like more um, single like, like, like relationships and not like dating right. multiple people. Dating multiple people to me and having sex with multiple people is oh, two different things. Okay. okay. Because I don't mind. I've actually grown into this, but I've realized I don't mind you or I dating multiple people at the same time. And then if we come to a decision that this is the person that we want to, you know, deal with, then cutting things off with every, all the other people. I have done that in a one or two occasions. And so that works for me, but I know it's not for everybody. I know some people can't deal with people dating other people. Yeah, but you're for you. It's once we decide we're having sex with each other, it's that's it. Mm-hmm. You're no longer okay with as long as I tell you. Yeah, but you're so you are okay with them having sex with multiple mm-hmm. you and multiple people. No, just that's, you. That's my line. Okay, but I think that that's what I'm saying. Like that's that gotcha. serial monogamous part yeah. of me. Like I'm not jealous, but I just no. That's yeah. I don't want to. I don't. I'm not interested yeah. personally. Fair enough. I feel that. <clears throat> I think for me. um, Honesty is like the biggest thing about like whether or not e- you're being a hoe. <laughs> like to me, like I just like I feel like a lot of it comes from ego, right? Or like maybe you're just in that that phase of life where that's what is important to you. But I think that if you want to be like big and bad and like this is what you want to be doing, then just be honest about who be honest about all that you're doing, and then that way people can make decisions based on that. Right. Um, I think that that's the biggest thing for me in terms of like how I like define a person. Like if I know three people you've had sex with, I'm, I might be calling you a hoe. Like you mix me. Mm. If you, if you are dealing with people like that closely together, like, you, oh, like in the same friend circle. Yeah. yeah. Like you're, oh, okay. you're oh, a mix. Oh, yeah. There's not, there's oh, not friends. communication that there's things happening with multiple people. Well, not even just because there's not communication happening, but it's like, there's a lot of fish out here. I don't know uh, why we're it's the, the same, same pond. pond. Like yeah. I don't know what that's about. No, that's that's weird energy to me. <laughs> I don't know. No, is this is yours. I'm gonna let you. No, no I mean you can ask. Oh, well, because I I find it interesting in the gay community we have, even here in DC, which is the larger community, but I've come from one that's been smaller. Um there's even like it's not that big. So then you have like clicks within that. And then there are certain people you just gravitate toward. And I can see me like an, as an outsider, I came into a situation where it kind of got like, okay, there's a lot of people enter, but I think that's also because you guys all have things very like in common. You enjoy the same types of things. So you may be physically attracted to like one person, but they're in a relationship and you are also to somebody else. So, you know, like I can see how it can naturally happen. But I do understand how it could be messy, but I, I, I understand. And this is probably because it's a personal experience, <laughs> but uh, also I, it, it happened naturally. Like it wasn't like something planned. It was just something, oh, all of these type of people, it's probably like 25 of us that kind of like, you know. That's a large group. It's a large group. Yeah. So it's not I just like, mean like, I don't really... Uh, I see what you mean. I don't guess I like. I don't mean like if you, you can know a lot of people, right? Right. If you smash somebody that has like five really good friends, and you smash one of those really good friends, like that's where I'm like, okay. Okay. Now if it's like a group of like thirty people and it happens, like I don't know. I I it's case by case, I guess. But Mm -hmm. like, um, I just think that that's a little bit messy to me. Like it just is like a little bit. I don't know. It is. Especially if it's like very casual like it's different if it's like i really like this person we dated and then we broke up and then i got to know this person i didn't really know even though they were like kind of an ancillary friend and then we did like if it's not dating like i'm i don't like if it's not dating if you're just like sticking and moving with a whole group of people that know each other like that's very different to me yeah that's what i was asking about that so do they know do they know or do they not know it doesn't matter see and that's why it's gross Mm. (laughs) 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, Jesus, mm, mm. yeah, that's real. where ooh, I hate that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think that's the end of my answer. <laughs> Um, I don't think I have anything to add on. I think I'm on the same page as all of you guys. Mm -hmm. I think if you're, I don't necessarily care about who you decide to have sex with or how many people, as long as you're being honest about to, with everyone involved with what you're, how you're moving, Mm -hmm. um, how you dress or whatever to me doesn't really matter as much right. as i think i'm i'm on the same page as y'all as long as yeah. you're being honest about if you're not being honest <laughs> oh i do have one about that about how you dress though for niggas because that dangly <laughs> earring thing that's starting to happen it's like ooh, fuck boy behavior like I, yeah. <laughs> like on site is how i see it like the yeah. one just yes. yeah give me it, it's even more if it's two. Oh. Hmm. i don't know is that like a sign like, yeah to me yeah <laughs> yeah okay I, it was on this show um it was like three yes. girls and it's like a reality show and they were dating like it was a whole bunch of guys and they were trying to figure out who was it was like uh fuck boys and nice guys and they were supposed to like try to figure out who was who and who they like liked and they were obviously supposed to choose nice guys because if they chose a fuck boy then the fuck boy could just oh take like, the money yes. and go oh, yeah yes. that's exactly what it was yeah and a lot of them niggas had them dangly earrings and i was like uh oh, tell them yourself okay <laughs> oh wait i did have one more to my de- to oh, mine yeah hoochie daddy short no, because I like this a lot. I'm loving this energy oh, across the board. I don't even know that guys can find regular like, shorts, shorts anymore. <laughs> Good. Like for a long time, he was wearing them it. like them low rise jeans forever because we couldn't find. Good. Yeah, you're right. Guys, it's I, your turn. Yeah. Um, but it was the. Um, I do think it's weird. Maybe not borderline hoe behavior if you're like doing like that girl that got caught getting head at a pool party, but like in front of everybody. Do you guys not see that? Okay, maybe I don't. Maybe it's just my algorithm. What, <laughs> <about to say? laughs> um, <laughs> what is your timeline set up on? Wait, wait. It was no, like, I think the I rumor. I didn't like, see Hollywood. it, but didn't they, weren't they like interviewing her? And she was like, "I can't say because my she's a man. She's a man. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't. They don't. All I know is the interview. I don't know. So I saw it twice. I, it, and it, I'm not sure if it was the same girl or not, but they were at. They were recording this girl at a pool party, like. Like think like Vegas pool party type situation. Oh. And we're like, you can see him handling his business with this girl in the pool. I'm, underwater? Um, so she was water. getting her? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know how would, water? How would she? Wow. This I feel is, like it would be easier if it was. Now me. I'm impressed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> cool. That's why I was like underwater. <laughs> well, if she was like in a shallow, like, oh. so if, you, if you've been to like some of these pool parties, it's not like, some of them are like the pools are. Like kid, not kiddie pool, but like they're oh, yeah, just like legs. three feet or yeah. something. It's not. I mean, that's still impressive. But she was like laying out, so it wasn't like he was fully immersed. He was like, so if this is the water, her okay. legs are All like. Right. Oh, okay, I don't know how much of a visual you <laughs> Oh wow! Anyways, I feel like that is like a bit much. That's a lot much. Yeah. Like so, I would probably be like, oh, y'all are both hoes, because that's a lot to me. Like that's not hoe behavior. <laughs> Nicole said, are they committed to one another? <laughs> they are not. Are they, are they being safe? Wow. Oh, Jesus. Is that right? Is this a dental dam in the pool? No. <laughs> the whole thing doesn't work. It's not. Honestly, I don't know how any of this came about. This is like, this is a lot of you have to be? Um, but yeah, I don't know if it was the same girl or not, but later she was like, um, like unapologetic. They did, ironically, block her face, which was weird. Are. Right it's on the video, right? And yeah. you're admitting to doing in the it. interview, they blocked her face, oh. and she's like, "Yeah, it That's happened." Not on the video where it happened, I was like, "Oh, why is that weird?" Oh, oh no. no, I'm talking about another one. Okay. So she's like, "Yeah, it happened. Um, I would do it again." And she, no, wait, you say I wouldn't do it again? Something happened, and then she was like, "Oh, but I have a man." And then she tried to walk off, and the guy was like, "You got a man?" Like, and it wasn't why the man mad? doing, you know, right handling business. So what happens in Vegas? Stays apparently, not when you go viral. Right. <laughs> Mm. Nicole was like, well. <laughs> you why are you answering the question? Why are you answering the question? You should have went home. You got caught slipping. That's what happened. Mm-hmm. She did. Well, they both did. Because I don't know. Well, and also, also, I don't remember an interview with him. Right. They just interviewed her. Yeah. So then, he the one who did it. Right. I was just minding my business. I'm so impressed. <laughs> she's so I'm an innocent water. bystander. Underwater. Like, it's, okay. All right. Quiet. <laughs> 
It is like now that we're talking about it, it is impressive. Michael Phelps <laughs> ass. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was literally just sitting by the pool, like, what's happening? Uh, no, but, they're okay. in the shower. Yeah, no, no, oh, when you, okay. when you, you first still, mentioned it, like, you holding your birth for how? Do you want me to find the video? No. no. <laughs> Please. No. Uh-uh. no. Oh, wait. Uh-uh. <laughs> Nicole's like, no. <laughs> Send it to me. No. <laughs> to me like, yeah. it's no, not actually, good. I really don't want to see that. Okay. <laughs> um, so good. Yeah. So, okay. Back to our topic, of kind of. Okay. I don't know. We have one more. Th- Did we want to go over the walk of shame? Because Nicole mentioned it, but we didn't go into that. Or do you guys want to move on? We can. We can. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I only. Do you want to define what a walk of shame is first, I guess? Ooh. Okay. Mm. My it's person. Pandemic. I don't know if people remember. Well, I think <laughs> after a night out of enjoyment, the next morning, going back to your place of residence, typically I've only heard this in like a college setting, yeah. um, and you going back to your dorm room, home, whatever, in the same clothes you had on from the night before, before, the next morning is typically what they call the walk of shame. So I guess you're like walking across campus or like walking to your dorm, whatever. But when, we, when it came up, I was thinking about it. I've never heard... Someone be like, a man is having a, a walk of shame. It's always a, a woman. Yeah, true. I've, I'm trying to think back on like my college days. I don't remember any other dudes being like, oh, like yeah, walk of shame. Blah, 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 blah. I don't remember that ever coming up. Mm-mm. No. I think that's also the double standard yeah, situation. <laughs> like, Yell girl, don't whisper it. <laughs> right. I, I, don't necessi- I don't necessarily agree with it. But again, I also don't necessarily believe like i feel like the walk of shame needs to be clearly defined to people because i feel like how some people perceive it is because of whatever act you were participating in which might be for me it's like oh it's just because i look the same like i did last night or i think it's the I assumption like, right yeah, yeah. It's the assumption, the assumption that you've had sex with someone and didn't make it home yeah, or you that, didn't make it home because you were having sex with someone that's not shameful for me what's shameful is maybe wearing the same shit and the fact that maybe i need to go home and take a shower because i was wearing the same shit like that that is more shameful than what i was doing while i was where i was at mm-hmm. so if we had our hand claps i'd use it <laughs> i mean that's just <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> I mean, that to me is more shameful than, and I also don't, maybe, I mean, in utilizing my definition, maybe niggas don't think it's a walk of shame because most things just, they, they're fine with wearing the same shit all the time. Mm, they're just dirty. <laughs> I mean, not just saying. Not dirty, but like. I also, know. I feel like you only do it one time, right? You only get caught slipping one time before <laughs> you got that like emergency bag. <laughs> My thing is, is like, why do people? I don't know. To me, it's also like, you couldn't let you borrow a shirt. Like, what? Like, what? <laughs> like, well, it'd have been a whole like, outfit. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, but you're also implying that you're going to go talk to them again to return it. Oh. I mean, we're at the same school. Like, I don't. That, that, that didn't always when that happens either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like we don't have to talk but no, also wouldn't it still be a walk of shame if you're coming in like in <laughs> like well, some I, I'm, I'm saying this from Nicole's standpoint of like what aspect of it is shameful that to me oh, is not clothes. the core gotcha. of what it's about okay. I think it's also like what why men don't use that phrase is because it's like <laughs> yes you yeah. know what I mean like it's like I hit last night it's not like <laughs> no like no we didn't have we hooked up but we didn't have sex like that, that shit that girls have to do when it's mm-hmm. like our business have versus like what's allowable choose to. listen you're right but i feel like it, it involves a lot of unlearning yeah too, absolutely. right especially yeah. like at an maybe at an age like where you have internalized a lot of like the shame around sex as opposed to like it being it it is what it is you know what i mean mm-hmm. no i agree hmm. that was quick <laughs> <laughs> well that's good <laughs> talk and talk <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> All right. quick. If we uh, don't necessarily care about the walk of shame, well, maybe it's just us. I know maybe it's just us. And maybe some people do care about the walk of shame. And it would be interesting to know if we cared about it more when we were younger. Also. Yeah, absolutely. I, well, I mean, I, like Carol said, I think you only get caught slipping once before you like are either prepared or you just. But that's when do you don't care. It means that. I'm never going to put myself in this time. situation yeah. again. Yeah, you know I didn't I mean? care that one time. That's something I think it's more so like other people's perception of you, not how you feel about your decision that you made. I mean, and I'm sure sometimes you might have regretted 
possibly doing whatever. But the walk of shame to me is more so other people's perception or you feeling how other people are going to perceive you coming back. Yeah, it's not necessarily sure. like I feel bad for what I did. Like, that's my business. Right. It's how you're perceiving me now yeah. based on what you assume I did based on how, what I have on. Yeah. And it's also like maybe having to share what that is because now yeah. there are questions because you were caught out. You know what I mean? As opposed to you just being able to mind your business if that situation never occurs. Yeah. I mean, if people learn to mind their business, then people would not care about the perception. And or if you're a person that doesn't care about the perception, then people will learn to just mind it in business. Right. But um, if we're talking about, you know, who are you labeling as a hoe? And what what that definition is like, are we are we going to take back that word? Are we going to reclaim it? Are we going to spin it? Like, I know that Amber Rose has the slut walk, right? Is that what it, I don't mm-hmm. want to miss? Yeah. It's a slut yeah. walk. Like, so I feel like she's taking that terminology back. Are we, as a people, striving to take back the word hoe? I don't know that Fine striving. <laughs> like, like, I see where you're going. It's more like, yeah, oh, like yeah. are we, are we going to take it and make it a good situation versus a because I feel like everybody has a whole phase in life or a whole life. Maybe so not like run around later and be like, that's my hoe. Not a whole life. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a whole so life. I guess picking back onto this, um, I, a friend of mine, well, Debbie, you guys have met her. Um, we <laughs> were talking last night and she was telling me about um, like 304 girls, mm-hmm. which is, I guess, hoes, but they're sex workers, prostitutes. And they're like openly call themselves 304. Like, three, 304, I guess, because of pagers, I'm assuming, is where yeah. it comes from. Oh. Um, I was like, what area code is that? Three is an E. I, this, I said oh, the same oh. thing. <laughs> Which told me I was... And I got to remember. I was like, well, think about it. Yeah. Yeah. You got to remember the Catholic. Like, yes. yes. Listen, okay. I, haven't had a, I haven't talked about pagers in a decade. Who remembers? But yeah. Also, isn't it backwards? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it is backwards. That's, that's how you would too. write it, right? You'd, mm-hmm. So, so then when you flip it on the calendar, it looks like a hoe. Yeah. It looks like a hoe. Spells hoe. Well, that's what I said. Yeah, so but if you go on 304 TikTok or 304 Girls, they're openly claiming, 304 is another word for hoe, they're openly claiming it. They're okay with it. Like, they're, and I guess for but them. But is it only okay if they call themselves that or for other people to call them that? Um, I didn't dig I, that far into the rabbit hole, but they're all um, sex workers, every single one. So for them, I guess they consider being a sex worker a hoe. But is the reclamation of a, of a word done in which both, all, everyone can use it? Or is it reclaiming it so that only the community? So that, yeah, like nigga. Yeah, I think it's the right? community for yeah, sure. Yeah, community. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I wasn't sure how they define it. That's well, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, no. I just was wondering. It's also interesting that this is this seems to me very narrowly defined. If it's just sex workers, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Yeah. It's not yeah. like yeah. a colloquial hoe. It is a career hoe. Yes, that is interesting <laughs> because <laughs> a career. I mean, like I said. A whole phase, whole life. Right? Whole a career. Whole career. A whole a whole career. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have a whole phase, a whole life, or a whole career? Oh no. You too can meet all of your just <laughs> right. Huh. Submit right away here. <laughs> Um, I think for me, I'm not that interested in uh, reclaiming hoe or slut or any of those things. Okay. I I understand like why it's empowering for people. I, I I can't. I also have never been called that to my face. Fair. So like, I don't feel the need to like undefine it, to redefine it, and reconstruct it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, I I don't feel like it qualifies me. So I don't Fair. feel allegiant to it. Mm. I'm just, don't call me a hoe to my face. Probably. Somebody know better. They ain't probably probably somebody on the soccer field for me. Huh? Yeah, I think it's been more yeah like that, not literal. like you're Actual saying it to me, behavior. basing it based on what you perceive me to be. Yeah. I don't yeah. think it's been more of like something in anger. But yeah, I agree with it. Like I don't I actually have do have one story where that happened. Somebody called you out? Yeah. It was weird too. It was like I uh it was a friend of mine and she like didn't mean it nefariously. But like I had broken up with my boyfriend at the time. And then we like it was like one of those messy breakups where we like were still like messing with each other. And so I like told her like that we had like hooked up and she was like, oh, you slut. And I was like, what? <laughs> Fucking call me. I was pissed. I was also pissed because I was kind of feeling like one. So I was like, 
just hit, hit, hit my ear. <laughs> Big mad too. I was really tight. <laughs> okay, so since you brought that up, I actually, <laughs> I actually do feel. No, it's not that I feel that way, but I feel like, and maybe I'm just making a, a loose statement in this moment. But <laughs> no we should table. talk about being loose, also. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like some women, maybe most, have the quote unquote whole phase after a messy breakup. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a good point. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, like, I remember what I would define as my whole face was <laughs> when I had probably the messiest breakup of my life with my ex, and we were just back and forth and doing, you know, just it was a lot. But I just like you out here doing things, I'm out here doing things. We outside, and but I so feel like a lot of retaliatory hoe. Potentially. Perhaps. Did it feel empowering or yeah. did you does it feel like oh, a reactionary? Yes. Or <laughs> yeah. It was great. No pause. It was great. It was okay. it's a wonderful experience. <laughs> ten ten ten. Ten. <laughs> you we'll do it again. I would. I would. Oh wow. Uh, it was <laughs> it was I mean it was very enlightening. I did feel empowered in that time frame of my life where I was just like, nah, things can't hold me down. I am that nigga. Okay? Uh, I, I should have brought so my you, oh, okay, go. So how, Did you say you were reclaiming the word? I can't remember. No, I'm not going to necessarily reclaim the word because I'm undefinable. Fair mm. enough. Mm-hmm. You said you don't need no labels. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you a hoe or not? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I don't... I remember being um, in <laughs> high school and a group of us had just reclaim the word bitch so we were throwing that about back oh, around i remember that and there, yeah so i remember that and i remember like i can't remember where i think one of the teachers heard us or something and they were just like you guys shouldn't be talking like that I'm like mind your bitch <laughs> <laughs> oh, not to use it isn't in the way in which i was using it <laughs> no. <laughs> no 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 i didn't want to get kicked out of school but uh uh, uh I used to just remember being like, okay, well, this I'm fine with, but I don't, I didn't feel the need to reclaim whole then. And we were using it in a context that clearly is not in the way in which the word was meant to be used. Right. So could we do that same thing with hoe? Possibly, but I just didn't. That's not, I mean, it just doesn't. I like I call my friends hoes sometimes. I was just going to say, we actually are already going to do that. Yeah. yeah like, like, we, yeah. Spell it, we spell it the, um, yeah. Yeah. And way. <laughs> H E A U X. That is true. So I guess I forgot about it in that. Wow, I've been lying this whole time. <laughs> that word does not define me. I and know. Never, <laughs> because we're not 304. We are a whole nother different set of alphabet. Go ahead. Yeah, we use the the bougie way. <laughs> yes. Bougetto. Uh I guess, well, hmm. so are we are we okay with being the bougie house? I mean I feel like I use it jokingly, not like to really um, describe Disc- if yeah. you're per- promiscuous or right. whatever. It's always just is like that, a. Does, yeah. that, does that not make it a re- reclamation of the word? Or I think it does. It? I mean, it, okay. it definitely falls in what you were saying with yeah. it about, about yeah. bitch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, then, hey, then wow. I guess we have reclaimed it. The whole like 20 <laughs> minutes we could yeah, just, We're <laughs> just <laughs> lying to y'all. Sorry. <laughs> this whole time. We just talk about hoes being bad people really and all kinds of stuff. I know. <laughs> Uh, we could try to circle back. I'm again. a good person. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's a sound bite. <laughs> it is. Wait, for very first time. I need you to know I'm a good person. I'm a really good person. Um, <laughs> can we touch on um, the idea about being loose? Because I feel like it falls in line mm, with like being a hoe. Oh, yeah, I right. distinctly remember, like, like in college, someone was like, didn't like this girl and. She was like, whatever, loose bitch, like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I was just like, wow. And I remember our teammate at the time had a um, someone she was dating for like two years. And she was like, what is that? Like, when people say that, like, what does that mean? Like, that they're loose. And she's like, well, that they have like a lot of sex. So, you know, it's probably like a hot dog down it, throwing it down. (laughs) And she was like, wait, but like, what if you're not having a lot of sex with a lot of people? but you're having a lot of sex with one person. And she immediately was like, 
concerned about herself. Mm. <laughs> and her, like, monogamous <laughs> relationship. <laughs> she was like, and I was, and I was like, see, this is why we gotta stop saying shit like yeah. this. That is dangerous. <laughs> and it's not. Is that worse? Is someone calling someone loose worse than getting called a hoe? No. I feel like it's comparable to me. It's the same thing. I actually don't hear people say that anymore. Yeah, that's yeah. a very like old term. Yeah, yeah. it is. But okay, yeah. so I feel like it's used in that same way where it's like definitely pejorative and it's definitely to like try to you know cut you down yeah so as i'm thinking about like the concept of reclaiming ho like jasmine sullivan has hotels yeah hotel Mm -hmm. so i feel like if anybody is maybe the poster child for reclaiming that word it might be her Mm -hmm. because i feel like that entire album is fire and it's really good it's just Letting us be who we want to be, how we want to be it. Yeah. Also making people feel like their tales or what have you are not like. Yeah. Um, like, you know, you're not going alone. through this alone. Yeah. Like these yeah. are like normal stories. People are going through this all the time. Like right. you're not a hoe because <laughs> you had sex with someone and had a walk of shame coming back from whatever. Or like, hurt their feelings. Yeah. Like right. because you didn't want their ass. Right. So. Like, yeah. Didn't want to talk. Mm. Yeah. Oh Lord, that was a good talk. Okay, so to close out. Are hoes bad people? If you're a nigga, yes. <laughs> Why? If you're a woman, no. <laughs> it's time for y'all to feel it. It's like we have. How That's long. right. Yes. Yep. It's the patriarchy. <laughs> Death to it. <laughs> well, that's my answer. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm sticking by it. Yeah. I, I'm probably with Carol. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of us women going through the most. I really am. Me too. It's just too. It's too much. Too much. I think Give you definitely screen. a hoe if you lying and if you leaving people yes. with kids yes. with no intention of staying with them. Let's be honest. <laughs> like, Let's be honest. You, you're the worst of them. Yeah. Outside of that, be free and be honest. Yeah. Life Stick and move good. if that's what you want to do. I did think this reminded me of like, I wonder what people thought about um, when first people introduced polyamory, right? Mm. Because that's you keeping it real and having multiple people in a relationship. Okay, but yeah. wait, was polyamory introduced or was monogamy introduced? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Okay, so I only meant from the standpoint of recently. I'm not sure what happened before the recent. Like, I, you know, I don't okay, know. Okay, okay. Our relationship yeah, not the Okay. Yeah, yeah, not like, checking out like, yet. I went a lot further than I got. I got like so. <laughs> maybe next. I don't know. I only went like, back like, like ten years. years. Right. You're at the Renaissance, and <laughs> got this I'm in thing. the Heartland Renaissance. But no, not really. Yeah. So another question for another podcast. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, but that's, that's a good question. That is, that is a good it, question. It came across when Nicole was talking earlier. All right. So. Is that everybody voted? This is like the second closeout. So there are I'm sorry. <laughs> because you know, one thing we're going to do <laughs> is tangent. <laughs> yes. Without fail. Thank you, Nicole. You're welcome. Okay, you guys, it's time for tips tangent. I have a good one today. A oh, lot. Okay. A lot. Okay. You said that last time. Give up. <laughs> <laughs> it was good last time. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give a whole law or hoe advice to live by. Wow. So we're assuming I feel like that hoes. leads into an affirmation. No, oh. for other for our listeners. If our our listeners are good hoes, <laughs> to what would you tell women. them? All right, okay. women. <laughs> yep. Can you ask the question one more time? Sorry. Give a whole law or whole advice to live by. Hoes like are it. accountable to no one but themselves. Ooh. Oh, then we're, that goes against everything we just said. Hoe. Yeah, it is. You have to be honest. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but you can be honest and only be accountable for self. I feel like being honest is being a part of being accountable. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't look at it in that way. I looked at it like it shouldn't be only self-serving with, with respect to yourself. Because I feel like there's something that's taken away from you too when you choose to be with multiple people. I don't think that you're gaining in any way or only being accountable to yourself when you are, are sleeping with multiple people. I feel like the aspect of dating, or not even dating, but um, sleeping with multiple people and not talking to them about it 
puts more of a burden on yourself than it does the individuals you're dealing with because you still have to navigate these two or three people that you've, you know, put into this scenario. So I don't know. I that's that's the way in which I'm looking at it. From, okay. So. Okay. Um, I think I um, always have a bag. <laughs> like a whole bag? Or like mm-hmm. um, a money bag? Uh, but. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you get yourself home. Yeah, I think and you with some new clothes if possible. Yeah, new, like fresh set of clothes, charger, travel toothpaste, toothbrush. You know, get yourself home mm. and be safe. Your location on for your friend. Mm. Oh, for your friends? Okay. If you, okay. Depends, well, just, depends, depends on how you're moving. Depends on how you're moving. Okay, my, my location. I'm meeting one. <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I need you to know where I'm at, I'll tell you. <laughs> These are really re- respectable um, whole laws. I thought mine is not about to go. Okay, all right. Okay. Bring it on. Get that head. I can't wait. I can't wait. Get that head. Man, leave. That's you were going to do it. I was. <laughs> Bring it on. That is a good one. That's your yes. number one. That's your number one. That's, that's, it. that's the motif I thought it was going to be on. Um, oh, wow. Okay. No, yeah. you guys, no, you guys were great. You yeah. guys. <laughs> we were very the nail away. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Yeah. That's a right. wall. But yours. Um, Nicole took mine, so oh. now I'm struggling. Sorry. Um, Sorry. It's okay. Oh, you may give you another one. Wow. <laughs> Go yes. for it. Give us the whole Ten Commandments. <laughs> I mean, look. <laughs> Can I use Biggie's uh his track for it? Yeah. You know, like the Tin Crack Commandments. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um Don't forget to come pick up your hurt feelings. Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wait, who's hurt feelings? Yours, not <laughs> mine. My feelings are not hurt. Oh, so not not so this is the other person. Yeah, like the okay. whole tells the other person. Don't forget to pick up your hurt feelings. That's another law. Okay. What does that mean to you? It's from the Jasmine Sullivan I know. Oh. What does it mean to me? Yeah. That means if I don't want to be bothered, don't call me no. Just because I don't want to be bothered. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I respect that. Mm -hmm. Um, I think my advice is just to, it's also to like, go your own way. Hmm. Because I feel like a lot of times people feel like, oh, I need to do this because this was done to me or because I'm single, I need to act like this or because I was hurt, I need to like get back. Just do what is true to you because everybody ain't built the same. So like there's a reality of like, if you're not built for that life, like don't feel like that's the life for you. Just do what's true for you. Hoe your own way. Talk about it. Oh, that could be a double entendre because you can hoe your own (laughs) way. I'm not the only corner right. one. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> oh, this is good. Any any other commandments? I'm, I'm like, I think I'm tapped out. All right. <laughs> okay. So meme of the week. Come, meme of the week. Meme of the week. Bah, 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 bah. Bah, 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 bah. Um, comes from the Queen Effect Inc. And it says, "It ain't a secret, but it ain't your business either." I love. <laughs> That's a bar. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I, I'm not even lying to you. I was on the phone <laughs> earlier today and I said, I'm not private. It's just none of your business. Absolutely. Period. Period. Who? <laughs> Mind the business that pays you. Yeah. All right, and I got one more from Victoria Berkeley Beauty. And it says, imagine you liking both genders and you single. You really buy yourself. Uh, <laughs> That's uh, terrible. No. <laughs> And this will take it too far or not, but um, happy pride. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, it's over. <laughs> You're so disrespectful. I was going to do it last month, but I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. But yeah. Imagine you yeah. like both judges and you buy yourself. <laughs> That's it's horrible. Real, That's horrible. Okay, it's mm-hmm. time for... Yes. Yeah. Now we're going to move on into our after shave. Hey. You know, our segment where we uh, like to affirm our listeners. Kind of. <sighs> Kind of shady in a shady way. Yeah, but we wouldn't be us if we didn't. No love. So we would not who be. Who wants to go first? This hotels. <laughs> Special. I'll go. I feel like we probably said this a lot um, in our own way, but just be the best hoe you know how to be. However that fits for you, whatever that looks like for you, 
Don't let somebody else put a definition on who you should be and how you should be it. That's all. I love that you just stole Tiff's um, hoe commandment. <laughs> I appreciate it. No, I've been thinking about that like all day. Like, just be the best hoe you know how to be. So, Tiff, you now again That's have to come up with that. <laughs> I do. Because I'm, again, struggling. Oh, Thank you, sorry. Nicole. No, it's okay. It's okay. I was going to try to change it up anyway since I just said it. Oh, okay. All right. No, you're fine. Well, that- you, who wants to go? Are you, is yours ready? Or you got a sermon for the hoe? <laughs> I had a sermon for that. Definitely a sermon. <laughs> she does. That's why she's I, looking like that. No. It's all the holes are turned to. I'm <laughs> I got my beginning in my first clothes and I don't have the second. <laughs> well, maybe you should go. No, it's what you're using. Um, I think for this week, my affirmation for uh, our holes and um, whether or not, you know, you want to call yourself a hoe, don't want to call yourself a hoe. My affirmation would be no one else is going to be able to, I, can't, I guess I'm kind of piggybacking on um, Nicole's, but no one else is going to be, be able to affirm who you are but your own self. And, you know, your definitions, the way in which you feel about what you have to do, the only person you have to reckon to is, your, is yourself. And if you aren't okay with whatever that looks like, whether it is people trying to negatively talk to you about being a hoe, said hoe, or um, you deciding to reclaim the word, or be it that you are choosing to be with whoever you want to be and be as, you know, accountable for that, be it not telling anybody or telling everybody. I I cannot affirm that you should be one because I am not can't do that for anybody. And I don't think anybody else can. So that's what I'm saying. You got to affirm for yourself. Recognize that at any point... Th- some point in your life, you're going to have to come to terms with it. So be okay with wherever you're at right now. That when you do have to reckon for that, whatever day that may be, may I'm not going to say it's good or bad, but whatever that reckoning comes in, you got to be okay with like that being a part of the process and the journey. So just, I affirm for our listeners, just do what you feel is necessary for your own self and be okay with it. Because that's someday you're going to have to either reflect on it or at least deal with the consequences that come with it. Yeah. And for me, I would say um, a lot of times people are being called a hoe out of anger or um, jealousy or they're projecting on on you. Mm -hmm. And so um, you don't have to claim anything that doesn't feel true to you. I think that's like what most of us have said today. So if if whatever someone is saying to you doesn't feel true to you, then that's then don't claim it. Um, We're all out here just living our lives the best that we possibly the best way we possibly can. Um, and I just think that, as we've said numerous times on the show today, um, do what's best for you and be OK with that. Be OK yeah. with your decision. Yeah. Yeah. I think my appreciate is very much in line with the same thing. I don't think that any actions that you partake where you're being honest with yourself and others doesn't define you negatively and that you don't have to claim that for yourself. So you have full warrant to be who you are and be all of who you are and not claim any tropes, words, stigmas that other people might place onto you. And you're also not the sum of your worst actions. So if the worst thing that you think that you're doing is having sex with people, like you're doing fine, sweetie. Right. (laughs) Consensual sex with another adult. Yeah. So like just also acknowledge that. I feel like sometimes, um, especially for women, like your sex life and who you are are so caught up into um, being place on your character it's like a character trait it's like your morals your compass all of that thing all of those things and that doesn't have to be true and so if you're being honest and good with yourself and you're good with god then let everybody else struggle with who you are because it's not their business anyways wow. mm. just all right like just like that all right yeah, that was pretty good even though we uh we, 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 we rusty though yeah, yeah. very yeah. rusty i don't even know what this topic was anymore for real for real are hoes bad people i don't know that's i don't know if that was a topic whole activity oh. definitely or talk whole about tendencies. it yeah. hoes are your friends yes. hoes are, are your enemies. enemies that's what the topic okay <laughs> that, okay ludicrous mm-hmm. <laughs> all right until next time y'all we out peace bye bye, bye.